slides. Let's see. Okay, you want to open it. Front. Don't keep your hand there. Keep your hand there. Then, Arjun picks up one shoe. Fast. Now you're putting pressure, it was fine. You turned around and then, after that. After your basic makeup is done, mm. we're gonna do some kind of like edgy blackish shading in the eyes because that's the the look for so the to show. To make sure people don't recognize you. No, they will recognize you. They'll just see you in know, like a darker, slightly more mysterious yeah, I like form. how you pitch it to make it sound <laughs> sexy and cool when it's, it's basically it to make sure. It is sexy and cool. I've got it. You Everybody guys, will recognize you. Arjun, don't don't worry. You guys want to you. make sure I'm not recognized. No, I think we just wanna add a little bit of a uh, like a dirty grunge to the whole thing. The usual told me I wouldn't have cut my hair. It looks dirty. The hair works. The hair works. Sexiness. Yeah, it adds that edge that we need. Whatever needs to be done, please do. To work with Arjun was super fun because he's really cool. He doesn't care. I mean, even when we worked on finding fan, he was like, "Yeah, I'll wear whatever," and he pulls it off. We're gonna add like lots of silver rings to add a bit of a goth punk. I'll show you the outfit. I'll get it for you actually. Basically, all the weight I lost in my entire life is now going to be added back on to me. Back, yeah, really. That's really heavy. And uh, it's pretty cool though. And I like what, that and graphic. these are all what you something you were telling me that these are all handmade. I don't know what yeah, they're hand cut. They're laser cut. Laser cut. So they're all laser and what cut. What is underneath this? So they'd be like pants. My body. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the outfit was really cool because it was this Sherwani. It was kind of um, like this reflective material. So he's used this really cool fabric. So it's kind of Indian meets. Um, like I would say, new age, spacey. The pants, the pants have some reflective. They're also not a they're not traditional. No, not at all. Nothing is traditional with Kunal Rawal and his madness. Yeah, you actually you've been his, you've been a showstopper before, right? I'm his compulsory blind. You know how <laughs> I'm his plus one when he doesn't have a date. It's just I'm one of those. Uh, I want I to see his eye makeup. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really excited about it. So I think after we're done after with we're the done basic and makeup and hair, change and all, and then change, backstage. and we'll see you downstairs, and then we'll just add the. Sexed up bits. I I actually thought the boys would be like, no no no, we don't want this makeup and you know I don't know about this, but they were like uh, quite into it. I have to say. Okay great, so we're gonna leave you okay. to finish your hair and makeup, okay. and we'll catch you downstairs. Okay. Yeah, okay. thank See you. you. Bye. See you. My style mantra would have to be first and foremost be comfortable. You feel like this is something that you would wear all the time. You don't have to do something extreme or drastic just because it's a trend. Jeans, uh, I like uh, wearing jeans as often as possible. They're just really comfortable. Black, white, plain shirts and plain t-shirts. I think those are a, a necessity for any man. And. Uh, I love uh, suits. Yeah. Um, honestly, uh, my wardrobe is incomplete without suits. I love suits and I keep picking them up all the time. One trend that I think should come back, one trend... I used to like how uh, in our uh, 70s cinema we used to see Mr. Bachchan wearing those flared pants. Uh, I think they're called bell bottom. I don't, I don't know what they're called. I think those would be really cool to bring back uh, with jeans where you flare them at the bottom rather than them always being tapered because now we are so used to seeing skin-hugging tight pants. Uh, that would be a nice change, yeah. And that's how the geniuses brainstorm. Anaita has got Arjun's look down pat, but before we hit the runway, we have a quick rendezvous with Shahid Kapoor. But that's right after this break. Hello and welcome back to Style in the City with me, Kirat Bhattal. Our style expert today, the superbly talented Anaita Shraf Adhajanya, has a really cool style challenge. We're going to style the showstoppers for Kunal and Rabel's fashion show. We've already got Arjun Kapoor's look down pat and now we're going in for a secret rendezvous. Working with 
Shayad is always fun because uh, he pays a lot of attention to his look and he really gets into it. And I think his general feel is more soft and you know, like the sweet chocolatey boy. So it was nice to have his hair pulled back in this almost like mohawk like style and you know, tied with tight leather cord. And then the graphic almost rectangular shape on his eyes with the black shadow created a really mysterious, strong, um, desirable look. You know, I think times are changing and you know, earlier accessories for men were very limited. It was like, you know, you either wore a wristwatch or it was your spectacles or your sunglasses. But I'm of the firm belief that men should wear jewellery. And I think it's really important uh, for a man to accessorize. The hairstyles were really cool. Arjun had kind of like a mohawky, spiky thing in the front and Shahid had like a ponytail. But they both had really interesting looks because their outfits were kind of Indian-y but their entire look was hard and edgy and it was really cool. Boys on the runway, I think you know there's something about the runway that brings out the animal in you. And when we saw these guys out there, they were like fierce, like these creatures walking down the runway. It was so exciting watching them. So the collection today, what, what was new about Kunal is the first time that he's played with embroidery. So, you know, normally his clothes are very like streety and crushed and you know like worn in. It, it was nice to see that he was definitely going more festive but yet there was a lot of the old Kunal in it too whether it was the distressed t-shirts or, or, or the way you know the, some of the boys came on with their like riding goggles. So I think uh, as a collection it was quite out there, it was quite uh, loud in a cool way. how their attitudes changed the minute they got onto the ramp because I think you kind of imbibe your look and they fully got into character. Their walk, their look, the, the energy, the vibe, everything that was emanating from them was fierce and uh, it was actually a really cool show. I have to say, I mean, I know that all the women in the audience were like swooning they were all trying to get backstage to meet these gorgeous boys. Uh, so yeah, it was a real treat. Until you saw Anaita. Yeah, till I saw Anaita, I was no, being there. I was like, Chalo, enough. No, but you guys look super hot. And the women were all dripping. So, well done. <laughs> all you, bro. All you. It's all you. <laughs> but I think this is a look you should carry forward somewhere. We are leaving the premises in this look. Knowing Kunal, he'll ask for the clothes immediately. That's the story. <laughs> so, you can wear them tomorrow. <laughs>